Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a chit chat get ready with me. Um, this is literally my second video, so I thought I would tell you a little bit about me, why I get ready. Um, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And yeah, let's just get started. So the first thing I'm gonna use is I have three different primers. I have the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer and Hard Candy Long Wear Primer and the Matte Fine Primer. So to start this chit chat, get ready with me. And I would try to show the products that I'm using, but I was born in PEI, Canada. And I lived there for about two years. And I moved to the States, Tennessee wise, um, when I was two or three. So I left Canada when I was two and then, yeah, so I was, Born and raised in Tennessee, and then um, I was there for about 15 years, and then I moved to uh, Vancouver Island, Canada, and I've been here for, I'm um, going on, I think, four or five years now. And I really do like it. It's been a big adjustment to what I lived to before. But I'm kind of liking it. I am 20. I will be 21 in July. I am going to school to be a nurse. And I actually just got proposed to in January. So I am marrying the love of my life. But yeah, um, it's been a very, very hectic journey, if I do say so myself. But I did just recently self-tan, so I'm going to see if the Elf Follow Satin Foundation in the shade Nude will work. And if it doesn't, I also have the Patrick Star One Size in Fair 3 Golden, which I think would be perfect. Because I think the Elf one's going to be a little too dark. But... I will be moving again in the next three months just to kind of go around Canada and explore other options. But I am very excited. Okay, this ain't as dark. But, and I will be doing just a very simple look just because it's not about the makeup today. It is just a talk through. But yeah, um, my dad was born here, he was raised here, and then my mom was born in Pennsylvania. But I quietly enjoy it here. It's a very, very beautiful place. And I kind of want to explore more of it. Just because I've only been to like, this part of Vancouver Island, not like, too far out. So I kind of want to explore. Um, I do start school next Wednesday for my nursing class, which I am pretty excited about. I have been trying to get into nursing school for the last two years. It has been a struggle, but I finally made it. Um, I do live by myself and with my fiance. Um, we do have two fishes. And if you hear that noise, that is the fish tank. Um, I do have a guinea pig. His name is Peppy Le Pew. Um, I have two cats. One name is Miles and the other one is Charlie. Charlie is almost one. She'll be one in May and then, Char uh, not Charlie. Miles will be seven. He is seven. He'll be eight. Uh, I don't know how, my guinea is one years old, I think. And then I've just, I've had Charlie for over a year and Miles for a couple of months, like a month or so. And then my guinea I've had for like almost a month now. My two fishes I just got like a week and a half ago. So yeah. I love my little family. This is literally the best foundation. 
So for concealer, I have multiples. Okay, I have, I think, three. And yes, I am filming in like an open concept, like the living room's over here and the kitchen's over here because my bathroom is too small and it's just a lot to take in there. So, Anyways, I have three different concealers. I have the Tarte Shape Tape Double Duty Concealer in the shade Light Medium. The It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in the shade Medium Tan. And then the Smashbox Photo Finish. Or no, Studio Skin in the shade Light Medium. So we're going to try this one. And see how, okay. So I might add Tarte with it to kind of brighten it up. But, um... Yeah, we all live in this house. We are very much happy here. Um, I do have TikTok. I've been doing TikTok for a year now. Love it. Literally my favorite. Um, I did live at my parents' house, but then I moved out. Um, I do have a job. I do have a part-time job. I work as a hostess at my restaurant but I'm kind of warming up to Canada a little bit more it is a very very nice place to live so um I don't know what else to say let's see I am a very shy person when you get to know me or like when you start meeting me I'm a very shy person at times but when you get to know me I am pretty outgoing um but yeah so I just blended that out I'm gonna go with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder and 100 Translucent and I'm just gonna set my entire face my skin is looking dewy holy moly but yeah, um, the reason I started getting into YouTube is because I am a makeup lover. I love my makeup. Makeup has kept me company for a very long time. And I've been getting better at it. Um, if you follow my TikTok, I have done like some creative looks. And I've been trying to get into doing that more. Just because I kind of want to step out of my comfort zone and just kind of adventure out. But yeah, I might start doing some creative looks on here as well. It just kind of depends on really what am I in the mood for. But yeah, I've, I follow a lot of YouTubers and they've had kind of inspired me to kind of start YouTube. I watch multiples. My favorite one would have to be Kelly Strack or Juicy Jazz. They are my favorite. And I watch them every single time they upload a video. So that's who really inspired me to get into it. Um, I did have a YouTube channel before. This is the same one I had. But then I had it when I was like 10. And it was, it was bad. So I deleted all those and decided to start from scratch. And that's what I did. Um... I am getting married June 24th of next year. Just gives me time to kind of prepare myself and stuff. My skin is looking really good today. So I'm going to go with the Urban Decay All Nighter. I've heard so many people rant about this and I have been obsessed with it. So I'm just using that to set my face. And it does keep your makeup in all day. I just dropped the lid. Whatever. Um... So I'm going to do my brows now while I let that set in. I use the MAC Rock to Fame Eyeshadow Palette. And I do use the black. I just dyed my hair recently. So I thought I would start doing a black. So I just brush out my brows. I don't have a specific way to do them. Just because they are already so fluffy. And my natural hair color is like brown so my eyebrows are brown but i think black looks really good on them so i just 
kind of do little strokes. If you hear that, that is my refrigerator. And sometimes I go a little too dark and I have to fix it. But in the end, it looks really good, so I'm not complaining. Um, I have four brothers. Um, I have two that live with my parents, one that lives right near them, and then one lives on the other side of the world. And I also have two sisters. And I have a baby nephew. Um that I see frequently but yeah um my fiance's name is Jonathan we met on tinder crazy place to meet someone didn't think he'd be the love of my life but here we are he is and I love him to death um we dated we got together June 1st of 2020 and it has very much been a roller coaster but Fun. I'm gonna use the elf wow brow in brunette. This is literally my favorite eye gel. I mean not eye gel, my brow gel. Um yeah, uh I have a lot of family. I have gained a lot of family, which I am great greatly thankful for. Um yeah, don't mind me. I say um a lot, that's just literally my thing. But yeah, I've been doing makeup since I was probably 10. Like, I started to get into it more and more when I was 10. And I have really grown to like it. Like, so many people I watch are just really looking good at it. So. I was going to do eyeshadow, and if you hear that, that is also my chair squeaking. Great video to start. So I am going to do bronzer and contour with my Anastasia contour kit and I use the shade 2 contour or that contour. Wish my chair wasn't squeaking, it'd be nice. But yeah, um, my first ever makeup product was Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I started using that and it literally looks so freaking good. Um, my first, I wore my first makeup look out to my first homecoming when I lived in the States. And, yeah. So makeup has been literally the greatest thing I have ever decided to do. Um, my favorite sports i would have posted this on instagram and asked people to ask me questions but i literally forgot so just going off my brain my favorite sport would have to be uh soccer my fiance played hockey and i enjoyed watching that but literally the uh sport i played when i was younger was literally soccer i would try soccer i mean not soccer baseball and or not baseball basketball and I could not do it so for bronzer I'm gonna use the shade and a little bit of that shade but yeah so I'm just blending this out I love my makeup world it is very nice and I do have a lot of it as you see in, the, in my previous video, I don't know why, but when I put self tanner on, I literally have to blend this down to my neck, and I don't know why. I've always been like that when I wear self tanner. Um. So yeah, it is a very nice community. So I'm gonna go with the Olimar Cosmetics, and I think I'm gonna go in with this shade which is Castaway, and just an angled brush. Um, the places I shop for my makeup is Sephora, drugstores, that's all we really have. I don't have an Ulta where I live, 
which is kind of a bummer because I've never been into Ulta and it's kind of upsetting but I do like a lot of blush and it is officially almost summer we are into spring and I couldn't be more excited about it but yeah I've only lived here for a couple of months I'm still getting used to everything. Um, for highlighter, I'm gonna use the Artist Couture Dream Purple Highlighter. This is a really good highlighter. But you have to be very gentle with it because it is loose, but it's like very blinding and very pretty. It's like purple with undertoned, which is Stunning. It's like holographic in my opinion. So I'm just going to put that on where I would usually highlight. But yeah, I will be 21 this year, which is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And I also had this highlighter. I kind of wanted to go for the Artist Couture one. So I'm going to curl my lashes and get them ready for mascara. My eyelashes are pretty long, so I don't wear falsies. I used to, but not anymore. I really want to start using them again, though. But yeah, if you don't follow my TikTok, you definitely should. I will have it linked down below. But yeah, I cannot wait to start this journey. It is going to be very fun. I'm going to use the Bao Gao Bang by Benefit and the Too Faced Better Than Sex. But look at this packaging. It's so pretty. So I'm just pulling this. And I do one coat of each. And sometimes I do get mascara like underneath my eye because that always happens to me. I accidentally poke myself in the eye because my hands are a little shaky. But I just let it there, sit there and let it dry. And then I just use a spoolie and wipe away the mascara. So there is benefit. And I've heard so many people rant about this. So I got a mini size to see if I would like it first. And I kind of regret not getting the full size. But Too Faced Better Than Sex has literally been my favorite mascara. These two combined are amazing. And then when I get done with my lips, I will wipe off that mascara. But yeah, I want to start getting into lashes again. They are so pretty. So, I'm going to do my lips now while I wait for that to dry. So I use the Morphe Backseat Love Lip Liner. And I outline my lips. But yeah. I wish I would have started YouTube sooner, but I get really nervous. So. I'm just applying a mesh. This is a really pretty shade. Like, I love it. And then for my liquid lipstick, I'm going to go with the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Leo. So pretty. So pigmented and it does dry down that which I love but yeah um I do lifestyle videos I'm going to uh makeup videos I probably incorporate um hair care videos in my videos but yeah I always get makeup on this side of my lip. Anyways, it's 
So I'm gonna do my inner corner highlight with this small tiny brush and the MAC palette. And I this is literally my favorite shade out of the whole palette. It is super pigmented and I'm sure you could wear it as a highlighter, but I'm obsessed. And I just put a little bit underneath my brow bone. I don't go all the way to the beginning of my brow, just at the end to kind of give it some definition. But yeah, let me know what type of videos you guys like and I will make that happen. So I think that is dried enough. So I'm going to wipe it away. Yeah, I'm hoping to have some type of room soon to do my makeup videos in and not be in the kitchen all the time. But we only have a one bedroom, so. I could do my bedroom, but it gets very hot in there. But yeah, I have been trying to grow out my hair for literally a year now, and it has grown quite a bit in my opinion. Like it is curly too, which I like. So to set my face, I'm gonna use the BH Paradise Set Hydrating Setting Spray just because I, I like it. Sure. That is it. I'm trying to grow out my hair, so I'm not trying to do any heat to it. So that's why it's looking frizzy. And I just literally got out of the shower. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I am literally obsessed. Has never looked this good before. But yeah, if y'all enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.